What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as you could probably tell, no, I am not in Rainbow Craft today and I'm also not in Crafted with Catherine. Today, I'm actually playing on a server hosted by MC Pro Hosting because they're having a week long build contest. And guess what? I'm a judge. The event starts today, which is Saturday, July 20th, and it's gonna last until Saturday, July 27th. If you guys wanna compete in this build competition, then make sure to click that link in the description box below to register, because if you don't register, you won't win. I highly recommend that you do register an account because there are some pretty awesome prizes up for grabs. First place is gonna win a gaming keyboard, a gaming mouse, and $50 credit to MC Pro Hosting. Second place will win a gaming mouse and $25 to MC Pro Hosting, and third place will win $25 $5 to MC Pro Hosting. So after you watch this video, go into my description box, click on that link to register an account, and come join me on the server to build for this month's theme, which is summer vacation. Okay, now since I'm a judge for this contest, I can't actually enter. I'm just building for fun. And maybe you guys can use my build as inspiration. Now, when I think of the theme summer vacation, I think of things like palm trees, beaches, lake houses, travel, and I also think of pool parties, which is exactly what I'm gonna do today. I thought that for my plot, it would be really fun if I built a princess pool party. So let's get into the speed build. All right guys, so here is what I have so far. For the princess pool party, I obviously had to build a cute little castle in the middle of my plot with a rainbow going over it. And as you can see, the moat that goes around the castle is a giant swimming pool. And now that the pool and princess castle is done, it's time to decorate this place. The first thing that this place definitely needs are some palm trees to make it feel a little more tropical. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these composter blocks just because I think it looks exactly like a palm tree. Now we can just add a bunch of leaves so that it looks something like this. And now that we have a cute little palm tree, I'm going to copy this onto the rest of the corners. I am obsessed. These palm trees look so cute. And now that the palm trees are done, I wanna go around to each side of the castle and add some lawn chairs so that people can sit down. So let's go ahead and grab some birch stairs and a slab. And then on either side, we can add a sign for armrests. <gasps> that looks so cute. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys that I put a little beach area on the back side of the castle, so instead of three chairs on this side, let's just do two on either side of the entrance. There we go. Now I feel like it would be really cute if we had some balloons or like party lanterns. So let's see, if we build up like this, 
and then put an end rod underneath it, it kind of lights up like a lantern, but it also looks like a balloon. So we have this blue one, and then we can also have a purple one and a pink one. Let's add some more over on this side. Then we can put some more over here. Then we can put some more over on this side. And we definitely need to add some to the front entrance. Now that we have all these really cute party balloon lanterns, I want to go inside and make a table so that we have a place for cake. Alright, so let's add a table to the middle of the room. Then on the table we can add some cake. We can use the purple slabs as chairs. And then we can add some end rods to the ceiling for some light. Now that the inside of the castle is done, there's only one more thing that I really want to add to my build, and that is unicorn pool floaties. Now I've seen some people make this already and it looks pretty simple, so I think all you do is make a plus sign with glass, break the middle, then you just want to round out the corners with some glass panes, build up one of the ends by two, then bring it out by one, then you can just use some buttons for eyes, an end rod for a unicorn horn, and some pink panes for a mane and a tail. <gasps> this is actually so cute! Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm putting another one over here, and I'm also going to put some more of these on the back side of my castle just because... <gasps> Look at this! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. To whoever thought of this unicorn floaty build, literally, I love you because this is so cute! But now that we have a couple of these unicorn floaties, I'm going to go ahead and also add a couple regular ones like this. guys well i think that's pretty much it for my build now let's just go ahead and add a sign that says princess pool party by katherine elizabeth all right so let me take a step back so i can show you guys the entire outside of my build so this is my princess pool party castle that i built for the summer vacation theme i hope you guys like it i think it looks super cute we have a really awesome castle with a rainbow unicorn floaties palm trees we have cute little balloons and decorations and then if we go inside of the castle, we have a table full of cake. Then you can actually go to the upstairs of the castle by going up this ladder right here. And you can walk around to any of the towers. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to click that link in the description box below so that you can enter the contest. If you guys liked my build, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!